Hello ladies and gentlemen and welcome back to Pixel Mod Cube Edition today. I actually have some cool like little, little news that we're going to be doing today. So yesterday, well not today. Well yeah, yeah, I totally butchered that sentence, but yesterday I did a cool video. So like normally I do Minecraft videos and that kind of stuff. Now this video won't be going up on my channel. Uh, but I did a video with some Poketubers. So I've, I've never done, I've always watched Poketubers. Like, I used to be obsessed with Shady Penguin, but, like, probably, like, two years ago. I watched, like, all of his LPs. <laughs> Shady's awesome. Um, but I used to watch, like, all the Poketubers, like, Shofu, Hayden, all those guys. And then, like, Twit, Sacred came out, uh, Nappy I started watching as well. Um, Twit invited me to a free-for-all. So, if you guys don't, if you guys watch Poketubers, I did videos with Sacred, uh, Twit, and... My phone just went off. Stop that. Shh phone no more um and supra so we did a free-for-all we did a little session i'm super excited for that to go out on this channel i've never done like a pokemon video before it's not going up on my channel it's not my video i didn't record it or anything like that i was just excited because i've never done that before i've never done a wi-fi battle either i've always done uh pokemon showdown i've never actually like <laughs> battled someone on wi-fi with my 3ds that's that's never actually happened to me before. i know that's kind of weird because i play a lot of pokemon but i just never have done that before like, I, I play a lot of the Pokemon TCG, and I play a lot of the Pokemon uh, Showdown, but not, like, actually, like, the game anymore, which I want to get into. And I have been actually... I, I do plan on starting up playing on my second channel again, the Pokemon... Uh, H-Bomb Plays Pokemon. Um, I do plan on doing that once p I move. So, I do... Okay, I have a lot of explaining to do. I plan on moving in less than a month. So, in a week, I am going to LA for Minecon. I, I hope to see a lot of you there as well. Uh, and then I'm staying a week there, and then I come back I, for about a week and a half, and then I move to Arizona. And then, yeah, I move to Arizona. I have nothing there. I'm going to go live in an Airbnb for, like, two weeks, and then I'm going to... What, during that two weeks, I'm going to find my apartment, which I'm going to live in for a little while. So that's what's going on with my life, and once I get done with that, I am actually planning on starting my Twitch channel up again, because I'm excited for Pokemon... Uh, sun, I have my volume all the way down. Pokemon Sun and Moon to come out. And I plan on live streaming that and uploading all of that to my second channel. And I, I don't know. I might do something else as well. Because I'm excited to be by myself. Like, something that's always, like, kept me back was just doing, uh, like, having family over. Feeling like I have someone upstairs all the time. Feeling like I'm always going to be bothered. Which I'm excited to be by myself and just not have to worry about anything anymore. Like, I, I just, I'm excited for that. I'm, I'm trying to kill myself right now because I want to go back to spawn. <laughs> that's, like, a horrible thing to say. You know what? I don't think my spawn is set. I think I'm just going to be set, be set back to my freaking bed. Um, but yeah, I did some videos with Poketubers yesterday, and I'm super excited for that to go out. It's going up on Twitch channel. Look up Hi, I'm Twit. Kind of like Hey, I'm B. Um, but yeah, I'm excited for that to go out. I'm excited to move. Hectic, hectic month coming for HBOM94. But I'm excited for it. I can't wait to start streaming. I can't wait for all that stuff to happen. The one thing I'm scared about is once I move, I have to get my Wi-Fi all set up or my internet all set up. And that's going to be probably like the most annoying thing possible for me because I did get sent back to my bed crap because I'm a youtuber and I rely on the internet so without the internet for a while might be a hassle I need to go kill myself again <laughs> god dang it um but I'm sure I could get over that part I'm gonna be pre-recording a lot of videos which I, I don't like pre-recording videos I like kind of doing it within the first 20 well, like last 24 hours so that I it's it's like fresh new content but for while I'm gone, I'm going to be doing a lot of vlogs, I think. I think I'm going to be doing a lot of vlogs because I'm going to be doing actually, like, fun stuff. Because I'm going to LA, and then I'm coming back home. For the week that I'm home, I'm probably just going to be recording and working and all that kind of stuff. Getting ready to go. So that's probably not going to be vlogged at all. Uh, but then I'm moving. So I thought that'd be a cool, like, experience to do. Because I'm not just going to be, like, I'm moving to this house. I'm going to be exploring. I'm going to be looking for new places to go to. I'm just excited for it. I don't know. I haven't vlogged in a while either. I started a vlog because I do plan on vlogging while I'm in LA. I started a vlog the other day and I'm super excited to get back into it. The H-bomb drowned. Oh, poor me. Um, but what I want to do today... Oh, I love that. I for I keep forgetting that I have that. Freaking own the skyscraper. I love it. I love that Gengar smile. Just the... Argh! Hit him with the... <laughs> Sorry. <laughs> um, but what I want to do today is I want to finish Professor Oak's laboratory. I... There's a flying Rattata. <laughs> Uh, but I want to finish Professor Oak's laboratory. I'm I really really want to finish this. We need to get the windmill in the back and we got to do the interior 
I think majority of it. Are you? No, you're not a move tutor. Um, I think majority of the other stuff is done. Any shiny? I just found a stupid shiny magic card. I've spent way too long looking for shiny magic cards. Like it's actually stupid how long I've spent looking for shiny magic cards. I should have found one by now, or I should just not even bother. But I really want the shiny magic card. I don't know why. Well, I do know why, but I, I don't know why I'm obsessed with getting this done. I just want it to happen. I just want the stupid shiny Ekans, you stop that. I just want it to happen. I want to have the shiny Magikarp, and I want to get him to level 100. There's so many Magikarps over there, not one of them is going to be gold. Just give me the gold Magikarp. You're not going to give me the gold Magikarp. Just, I don't want the stupid red one. I don't, I, I, uh, I just want my shiny Magikarp. Um, but I'm going to work on this. We need to work on the interior. I started on it a little bit. I love how this is looking, by the way. I need to get bones as well and get this all bone mealed up. Um, but hey B drill. I haven't seen too many B drills. Um, I love the way this is looking. I think it looks nice. I love the staircase too. This is gonna be where you can come up and grab your Pokemon. It's not gonna be like an exact replica of how the Professor Oak's laboratory looked in the game or anything like that. Because that's just gonna be too 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 difficult and it's just not gonna look too good, especially because it's like it, it was just like one little like platform. It just didn't look right in the game, so it's gonna be difficult for me to make that. Uh, I'm just gonna do it my own way while adding like little features that are actually in the game in there. Hi. Hi, Scyther. I'm gonna battle you, because you're free XP for my Chandelure. Chandelure! Um, so yeah, I'm gonna go work on that for a little bit. I'll give you guys some detail, or some updates and that kind of stuff. Hopefully we can find a Celebi. I really want a Celebi. Do I have Ultra Balls? I do. I want to find another Celebi, because I got rid of mine. I traded it to Joe, which I'm not... <laughs> that was the most difficult trade I think I've ever done in my life. I think I traded him a Celebi and a Master Ball for my Raikou, which I gotta get Raikou up to level 100, because Raikou's amazing. I want to start using Raikou more often. Okay, I'm I'm blabbering on. I'm going to go work on this more. Oh, nice. Okay, Eevee just hatched as well. Uh, pick me Jolly. I just got a pick me Jolly one. It's a male too. I, I need female Eevees, not male. Um, but in other news, I'm going to grab... Please break. I'm scared that a lot of these things are going to break, but I want all of the, like, uh, anything I could pretty much grab right now. I need as much stuff as I can to build with. Um, I don't think I need any of that kind of stuff. But I want to use, like, all of the Pokemon... Or pick some on items that I possibly can. Like, I think I have those somewhere as well. I have to find where I put those. The vending machines I can put in my freaking house. My Professor Oak's laboratory. Because we're moving over there. I might end up coming back here every once in a while to look for, uh, like, stuff. Like, like the, the, the shiny magic carps and stuff like that. And possibly the, the, not the Pokemon Center. The Pokemart. Um, but other than that, I don't think I really need anything. Are you? No, you're just on breaking three. I'm going to have to break, like, all of this stuff. And I'm terrified to break this stuff. Because I don't want to lose this stuff. Because I'm scared of losing this stuff. Are you going to break for me? You are. Nice. Okay. I don't know what else I particularly need. Like, I'm going to need the enchantment table. And, uh... I don't think there's anything else really, like, Pixelmon related. I'm sure there's other items that I'm missing that I could make as well. So, that's not a big deal. Um, but I just want to make sure I have room for all this stuff. Let me go show you guys what I've worked on so far. Nothing too amazing yet. I'm gonna, I'm, I'm, I'm putting an egg back and grabbing salamence because I'm sick of, I'm sick of just walking everywhere. Although it is easy for me to get around now because it's, let's put you in there. Wait, did I need you? You're jolly pygmy. Yeah, no, don't need you. I actually just literally got one as well. I think it's you. Pygmy jolly. Yep. And you are male, male, everything. I keep getting males. This, this is an ordinary size too. Ordinary jolly. I can get rid of you now. Uh, no, not you. You, I can make you go bye-bye. Uh, let me double check if there's any more Eevees or Whalmers that I can grab. It does look like there's Eevees before I die. Give me Whalmer. I'm, I'm particularly looking for a, uh, microscopic Whalmer now and more microscopic, uh, Eevees as well. That's my goal for breeding right now. I don't, I'm not doing anything with Dittos because I don't need them right now. Um, I don't need you. I, I couldn't be bothered with more Cobblestone. I have plenty of you. And goodbye, world. I, I thought that was a shiny Magikarp, and I was about to be so upset because I killed myself, and he would have despawned right away, but he was not shiny. He was- I don't even want to, like, think like that. Like, I know that's going to happen to me one day. Like, there's going to be a shiny Pokemon that I see, and I'm just, for some reason, not going to be able to grab him, and it's going to drive me a little bit insane. There's a Snivy right there. Cute little Snivy. Any, any shiny Magikarps? I love coming over to this area because there's always Magikarps here. Nope. I, I love the fact, like, how spawning works. It's specifically for, like... There's a set amount that can spawn on land. There's like 150 that can sp spawn on land. And then there's like 50 that can spawn in water. I put three PCs there because it makes it even. I want to put the trading system, the trade machine, right here. Oh, why? I th why do it like that? <laughs> there we go. We have that there. I need to put something like in the middle. I need to do more. St I need to do more interior decorating in here 
in general because it looks very very empty here as well i think actually wait let's show you the upstairs one first this is where the the pokeballs are going to be we're going to put three pokeballs in the middle here that you could come and grab i think it looks pretty nice we're going to have some like fake machines up here like a laptop and stuff like that because that's what he has in the background uh he had like a pokedex there so i'm gonna have to figure out something red to go there maybe like a flower pot or something along those lines um but i want to put the oh you know what we could get rid of like this thing back here <gasps> whalemer hold on let me break this and then we'll take a look at it i need to get i do have an axe on me <laughs> why did i think i didn't have an axe uh whalemer whalemer we got another ginormous oh I th oh okay this is probably an old egg then jesus you are fat <laughs> okay this is the look right here but this is kind of what i'm going after just like random stuff that looks cool to go over there and then for the fossil machines they're gonna be in here I don't know, I'm gonna have to organize these a lot better than I'm going to. Yeah, I'm just gonna have to work a lot on this area. There's gonna be like, like need to be like a chest room as well. I think this room up here will be the chest room. I kinda like the idea of this being it, because I think I can place um do I need to I need I I I'll be back. Another freaking Eevee just hatched, and it's a pygmy calm. Male. I cannot get a female again. I don't know why. But there is something awesome that I just found out that is in Pixelmon. Give me some diamond. I'm not gonna need that much. I'm gonna need uh, honestly one's enough I, yeah one is more than enough um but there is something awesome that is in pixelmon that needs to go on to or into professor oak's laboratory 100 percent. we need to stop at the wool shop first of all and grab i think i'm going to just grab white wool white wool would make the most sense to grab we just need one stack of you and what we could do is is there a, let's find a crafting bench really quick because we could craft you into something that is i was i was so excited for actually you know let's let's go back to professor oak's uh, laboratory first there's a crafting bench over there but i can uh, load chunks there we go chunks have been loaded and if we go in here there's a crafting bench over here we can do something really 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 cool i'm gonna grab eight of you because i think that's how much i need we need to put you make you into stick oh i need way more than that holy crap i need a lot more than that turn you into paintings right now if you do this you get Pokemon paintings. I have no idea what paintings are in this. No. Wait, what? What do I do? A photo can be placed in the painting by right-clicking the top left corner of the painting while holding the photo. So I need to figure out how to make a photo. Because I've heard about this in Pixelmon quite a bit. And I need to figure this out. Okay, so I don't have a camera. And I think I know how to make it. I need that. I have one piece of film here. This is all I could find. I went through all the chests and that's all I could find. Um, let me pull back up really quick how to make the cam- Okay, so for the camera, we need a cell battery. Which I don't know if I have either. Oh crap, I don't think I was ready for this. Um, but I need my glass panes, which I know I have some right here. I need just one. And then I need a stone button, which I can do just that for. Now the cell battery, I, I, I know I've had some. I think I threw them out though, because I didn't think they were useful. Oh god, they're so obnoxious to make too. No, okay, well let's make the first one. Or, well, I can't make the first one first. I have to do this stupid thing. I need redstone. I need three redstone in order to make this. Uh, one, two, three. And you just put this down the middle. This is so expensive. This is stupid. So, cell battery. You go, like, right there. Right there. Button on top. It's kind of like how you would make a normal camera, right? A cell battery, a glass paint. <laughs> I'm joking, but that kind of does make sense now that I'm thinking about it. I have no idea how to use this thing. I'm going to research this, too. Okay, so a camera is operated by right-clicking. with. Uh, you pretty much have to aim at a Pokemon that's within 20 blocks of you, and that's how it'll work. So, I am doing Gengar. Like, there's no doubt in my... I could get rid of you, right? Your pygmy call... Pygmy, pygmy call might actually be... I'm gonna leave him alone. Uh, I could throw you out. Wait, yeah, I could throw you out. I don't need you. Give me another egg really quick. But I want Gengar, because Gengar's our mascot. We need... We need Gengar for Team team Daybreak. Oh, I love you. Okay, let's focus on him. Oh, this is kind of cool looking. Gengar, you... Gengar? Gengar, hold still. I'm trying to take a picture of you. Stop it! Hold... Yeah, pose like that. No, right click. What? Okay, let's call him back. That's uh, okay. I don't know what exactly just happened, but let's go back to spawn really quick. I'm gonna, I'm gonna kill myself. <laughs> I hate saying that so much. I'm so freaking excited to see Gengar. I, I'm gonna need a lot of pictures of. I'm, I'm actually gonna try getting like the mascots of our team on here. Okay. Uh, oh, it's Gengar. I love him. Oh my god, he's just. There, I wish I placed this a little bit. Well, okay, I can. Oh, thank goodness, I could just fix you. So it's two by two, which makes it super awkward. 
Oh! oh. No, what am, no. This. God dang it. Put, got in there, Gengar, thank you. Oh my god, I'm so happy. Okay, I need more film. I need more film, and I need to find the areas where I want to put it. I want two Gengars there for sure. The thing is, I used odd numbers on, like, everything, because everything is... Why did they make it two by two? Out of anything, why two by two? Who uses two by two? I could put, like... I could put... Uh... Ah! Okay, so for film, we need a three specific items. Let me pull this back up. We need redstone, paper, and ink sacks in order to make film. So we're going to need quite a bit of this. I know that tentacles drop ink sacks, and tentacles do as well. I think the other things that drop ink sacks are like a smeargle, and there's one more. I'm sure the other one makes sense. I, oh, you know what it probably is? Uh, the frick. I want to. I don't want to grab that. Just too much effort. Prob Actually, no, that'd be cool. We Okay, no, we're going to make some fossils too. Um, the, the artillery. I think artillery makes sense. I hate how dark it is down here. But I need to go around and kill tons of tentacles, tentacruels, anything I pretty much can. Do I have any... Oh, I might die. Let me grab this. I might actually die from this. I don't think I have any torches. Do I... Can I make some? I can't. I can't. I need to make some. Uh, quick. H... Okay, it actually takes a while to drown. Although, it's going a lot quicker than I would like it to. Stop. Stop. Let me place this down. Don't, don't die, H. Don't die. There we go. Okay, let's grab some of uh, the freaking fossils and we can start making them and they'll add like a little bonus to the- Oh, hey, there's a sapphire underneath there. I don't need that though. Um, a little bonus cool thing to the um, Professor Oak's laboratory. So there's a lot of ideas that I need to go through. I need more film though. Film is kind of the big thing. I'm going to grab as many of these as I can because these are easy to grab too. I am starting to run out of books in general, but I need a uh, freaking uh, paper right now. Where is it on this side? Yeah, it is on this side. Five gold ingots. I'm just going to say screw it. I, I don't have ingots, so I'm just gonna grab one stack and give him a diamond. Like that—that's more than it's worth. But I, I just couldn't be bothered to go and grab more. Um, but I'm running low on that, and I needed sugar or not? Oh, well, I didn't need sugar cane, but I needed paper to, in order to make film. So I'm just gonna use all of that. I'm actually sick of gathering up books because I've used so many bookshelves in there. I've had to kill so many mill tanks, and I think Taurus is dropping as well, but I haven't seen any. Um, what do I need specifically? I need. For film, I need ink sacks, redstone, and this. So let's see how much we can make. I need you. I'm not going to make all of them. I want to make six. Actually, screw it. Just take all of it. <laughs> I don't want to have more stuff in there. Uh, let's see. I, I have so much crap in my inventory. Um, but we're going to have to make some more photos on this. Another thing that I've been doing is I, I fixed up over here. There's two fossil cleaners right now. Uh, let's do one covered fossil. And, well, two, yeah, <laughs> both of the covered fossils, and I always want there to be a Pokemon in here. I think I'm gonna get Aerodactyl or Cranidos in there because I think that'd be like a cool little addition in there. Uh, just like something small, and I can do it. So like, there's a, uh, <gasps> we could do two. Oh, I got an idea. I got an idea. Perfect, perfect. No, not you. You. We're gonna have an Ammonite and Kabuto up there. I think that's the perfect thing we can do. Uh, I need my, I need more to make more paintings as well. God, this is just eating up. I don't want to use that. I want to use the spruce wood. This is just eating up all of my resources. Uh, let's do 16. I think that's a good amount. It also makes exactly that much. Uh, boom and boom. Do I have the wall on me? I do. Nice. Okay, so we'll be able to make four paintings from this. Just boom. Or Pokemon paintings. Let me rephrase that. We'll put one up here and one right there. And then we're gonna throw. Kabuto out. Kabuto. 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 He looks shiny. We're gonna take a photo of him. Uh, come, here. we have to left click on that afterwards. Whoa, where'd it go? Oh, there it is. That looks so weird to me, like how it's like that. Kabuto, can you go in there? It's it's very weird with placing things in. There we go. I don't know how I I, I think I should try and get Kabutops instead. I think I'll try doing that in the future, but right now we'll have the Ammonite and Kabuto up there. I'm loving this feature, and Mike, you are stupid looking. Give me a smile for the camera. I love how it like throws a potion too. It just doesn't sound good. Get in. Thank you. Okay, Ammonite doesn't look too bad in there, but he needs a new model very badly in Pixelmon. Very, very badly. Oh, I love how this is turning out. There we go. I love it. I love how this is all turning out. I just, I, I'm just so happy right now. Okay, so cool news. I actually don't know if I recorded this or not. I meant to, but I don't think I was recording. But Shiny Tyranitar works in here. So that's a Shiny Tyranitar, and it actually comes... Break. There they are. Okay, good. <laughs> that scared the crap out of me. But I want something specific to go in here, and I'm going to place you down right next to it so we can grab it. It's happening. We're putting... The three legendary birds right here. Articuno goes first. 
and then Zapdos, and then Moltres. Go. Yes. Ah, I'm so happy with how this is turning out. I don't know why. <sighs> I just made this. I just made this, and I meant to put it right there, and I placed it right there. Ah, that was a waste of aluminum, diamond, and iron ingots, which I only have three iron ingots remaining. That's actually in my chest. Um, but I've been working out here a little bit. It's starting to look really cool. I like it. I need to put something in the middle there. Uh, I, I don't know what I'm supposed to put there. I have no idea. But we got shiny Tyranitar, shiny Slowking. We got the three birds over there. There needs to be something on the ground as well. Um, I don't think I'm going to put anything over here. I like the fact that I could just look out the window as well. I think that's all good. Um, but we have a computer here. I'm going to put the Pokemon healer right there or right there, one or the other. And there's there needs to be one more thing. This right here, a lot of you are going to be wondering why I did this. It looks weird, right? It's just like two pieces of red carpets. But there's meaning behind this. There's meaning behind this. In the game, this was the area that you grabbed the Pokedex from. And the Pokedex is red. It's just sitting there. So that's what I thought was, just, was kind of just a cool little idea. I thought it was just a small, cool little idea. I kind of like it. I like how this is looking. There definitely needs to be a Pokemon healer, though. I need to... Oh, I want to break you. I want to break you and use you, Iron Blocks. I need you right now. <laughs> Freaking, I'm running so low on that stuff right now. I might have more in here. Let me double check that just in case. I might have gotten someone I was breaking through here. Uh, don't see any. I have three in here. Or is it in my inventory? Where's, I just had three. A phone. Phone. Shut your, Shut up. This is not the time. Where's my iron? What do you want, Joe? I'm working on it right now. You're in the clip. I was mid-clip and you called me. You sh sh let me finish my own clip. I'm trying to find my iron. What did you did you? Oh, here it is. I found it. Never mind. I was about to accuse you of stealing it. <laughs> I, I'm gonna be on. I'm expecting you to be on. No. I, I don't want to talk to him right now anymore. He tried stealing my stuff. Um, <laughs> by stuff I mean the three iron. Yeah, I don't see any more iron. I need to go do stuff. H, so I brought you out here into the middle of the desert. Be not the desert. What am I saying? I can we redo this clip? Jesus. All right, three, two, one. H, I brought you into the middle of nowhere because uh, I, I God, stop. <laughs> Three, two, one. When did we get in the <laughs> desert? <laughs> I knew you were gonna do it. Three, two, don't do it. I just feel like I can see from what? your character. What? I'm not doing do anything. It. Don't do it. All right, here we go. Three, two, one. This is really green I... for a desert. <laughs> Screw you. <laughs> I have a mini chandelier that's shiny. Okay. Yeah, and you have a big one, right? I have an enormous one. Is yeah, it, is yours pygmy? Uh, I think so. Is it? It's runt. Hmm. It's probably a lot better than having an enormous for your team, don't you think? Because all of my Wait. team is like enormous and ginormous. The purpose of my chandelier is that it has flame body. Does yours Ooh. have flame body? Ooh. Yeah, it does. Joe, mine's also level 83. <laughs> I mean, hey, downgradation is a is form of upgradation, right? Upgraded. I'm not giving you a one for one for this. It's not even a pygmy, Joe. Uh, Alright, what else do you want for it? I don't want to trade my chandelure. This is my chandelure. This was, one, I think, the first shiny Pokemon. This is the first shiny Pokemon I got. I know, but the thing is, you won't even know he's gone. He's just gonna be, oh, oops, he's just gonna he's be much 83. smaller. He's level 83. I use I this guy. That's not even that high. That's really low. Yours is 29. What do you mean that's low? Alright, but with your team, you could get this thing up to 83 in like 30 minutes. So? I mean, so 30 minutes of time for a great deal. Okay, how about this? You give me... Okay, Chandelier for Chandelure, and you give me a Master Ball. And a Master Ball. That seems like a really bad deal. <laughs> I feel like I'm I don't want to trade really my Chandelure. I'm not getting rid of them. <laughs> You're the one that just came to me. Yo, we're doing a trade. Like, that's not how this works. <laughs> All right, here, I got you that. You would need to get me, like, a stack of Ultra Balls, too, to get rid of my Chandelure. All right. I, I think I can swing for a stack of Ultra Balls, because... I, I literally grinded for like hours to get lots of ultra balls and I have more at my base So I think I can I think I can swing that. Okay, so chandelure for chandelure and uh, ultra balls Yeah, a stack, right? Yes, go get that. All right And I found something really cool and really awesome that I think you're gonna see and you're gonna be like that is really cool And really what is awesome. This? This is Professor is Oak's this? laboratory, first of all, if you haven't figured that okay. out. Okay, I, I think you told me about this a while ago. I don't know what goes on in here though This uh, is gonna be my really new baggy. base Wait, it's really... Wait, wait. What am I looking for? What am I looking for here? Have you not seen the what paintings? What paintings? 
Oh wait, oh the Pokemon in the Oh <laughs> Whoa, wait, how? How do you do that? Uh, did you just skip over this like it was nothing? This is the coolest thing to me. <laughs> I mean, it's cool. I'm just mainly curious how you do it because I want to do it. Wait, so, alright, take a photo of this Arcanine for me. Whoa, I heard that. that whoa, whoa, what the heck? And then you can That's put that so in. Cool. I think I actually have a picture frame. Oh, no, I just have a painting. <laughs> this is the coolest thing I've ever seen in my right? entire life. And now, like, I'm, I'm doing stuff. So, like, this is a metaphor, Joe. Do you see the metaphor here? The metaphor? What goddamn metaphor is here? If you work really hard. You become your dreams. You become what you That's dream a, of. This that metaphor it's, it's makes start, no sense. It's for not the a two metaphor. Things. It's like encouragement. So it's like shoot for the stars <laughs> and you become for whatever the hell you want to become. He, Adrian, he became a dragonite. All right, just let it happen. <laughs> well, what's the metaphor right here then? That's just really cool. It's Raikou and Suicune. <laughs> <laughs> well, I can't have cool paintings either. All right, wait. What about this? Is there any more metaphors in here? I like metaphors. There's one more upstairs, but then we got like the fossil Dude. station over here. You're fine. Screw you. Let's, Let's see. Close. Let's see. What's the metaphor? All right, how could this be a metaphor? There's no Think way about this it. is a metaphor. Think about it. Glow King to a shiny Tyranitar. They're both how is shiny, that? but um, so how it's, is that it's not really a metaphor. They just stand for something to me. They, they, they stand for something. What do they stand for? Wisdom and strength. Wisdom and strength. <laughs> you can't be telling me that this stands for wisdom. Dude, Slowking's the smartest Pokemon. Is he really? Yeah. What? Yeah, I didn't know Slowpoke's that. the idiot. Slowking's the smart one. That's so cool. I didn't know that. That's actually awesome. Go, uh, go about... watch the Pokemon. Just go watch the Pokemon. Okay, Joe, Pokemon. this is another just three legendary birds. Like, I don't know what you want from me. That was just cool. I wanted there to be another metaphor, okay? I like metaphors. Uh, one, Assuming. two, three. That's That's the metaphor. Oh no, no stress. It helps me remember how to count. <laughs> Guys, I just came back on the server. Oh, I was about to end the episode and something amazing just happened. Let's see if we can actually find him. So he could be anywhere around here at just anywhere. I'm assuming it's in the, the just I'm assuming he's still in the flower forest. Celebi is like the hardest Pokemon to spot out because everything is just so green already and he's tiny as heck. I, I've already missed out on this guy twice because I couldn't just find him. Oh, found him. Never mind. It wasn't that hard. <laughs> he was right next to the base. I expected it to be a lot more difficult. I'm not. I, this video has gone on for long enough. I just edited all of it. It's already at like 27 minutes right now. So I'm, I'm just going to Thunder Wave him. He's got Heal Bell. Oh, that's going to be annoying. Okay, let's get Scissor out there ASAP and start false swiping him away. And he's got a healing move. Are you kidding me? Are you? I, I, did, I think it was Recover that he had. Okay, he has that. That cure status is... And now, wait for it. He's going to do it now, isn't he? He planted a seed on me. Oh, you. You. I don't know if I'm going to be able to capture this. He's got Recover. He's got literally the most annoying moves possible. I used Recover by accident. He's got Leech Seed, Recover, and then Heal Bell. This is not going to work out well for me at all. He's got one move that isn't going to make it, like, impossible for me to capture him. He's got Natural Gift. That's his final move. He's destroying my scissor. There's no way I'm going to capture him. I just have to get extremely lucky with, like, a Paralyzed or something like that. Okay, he's at full health. I'm gonna try this one time. Try attack. It's stab. He, I think he upped his special. Okay, this is not. Oh, 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 oh. Uh, okay, okay. I have to try. I have to try. You know what? No, no, no. Screw it. We're gonna. He cat is rubbing against me. We're gonna go for the thunder wave. This is gonna be my best shot at capturing. He, God, can you stop with the stupid recovery? Ultra ball. He's it. He's far in the yellow. He's paralyzed. Please. Two, three. Oh, I thought I had him. Okay, use natural gift. I have to just keep keep chucking ultra balls on him as long as I can. This try attack is gonna get a crit one time and just kill him. Luckily, it's just barely keeping him alive. But then he just he has leech seed, so it just automatically goes back up. He's got recover. This is oh my god, yes, sixty percent complete. Hell yeah, let's go, guys. That's how I'm ending today's episode. This was a really really long episode, and I apologize for that. Although I think you guys probably like that. This was just, oh my. god. God, this was amazing. I hope you guys enjoyed. If you did, be sure to leave a like. If we reach um, 1,800 likes by tomorrow morning, I will upload another Pixelmon tomorrow. Get out of here. <gasps> Unicleds.